Hi everybody, welcome to Draw for Initiative. This is Tina, I am Sarah, and today the game to paint is a study in emerald, which is a game for two to five players for about 60 minutes per round, if you are 14 years and up. And it, this is one of those episodes where this lovely lady next to me gave me a challenge. Which one was it? <laughs> She's having fun, you see? I mean, it's a Cthulhu game, you have to be very... Ups, uh, upside down and mm -hmm. had to compensate for that and, mm -hmm. um, yeah deal with that and in the end you will be go done. insane yeah like maybe I did lucky for this video there's no audio track with the painting <laughs> but you can see what she actually did to me <laughs> and there we go Yay! so uh, first of all everything's gonna be blurry because <laughs> Cthulhu he, d he was already there. I hadn't even put him down yet, but he was there. Or it could just be too much white paper and a... Did you, did you hear a little... Mm -hmm. In the background? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's actually what uh, I kind of did when painting. <laughs> <laughs> Not well, all the time, but once in a while. Well, if you hear such a, it, at such a high pitch, it's actually cute, Hulu. Yes, that's true. That's true, yeah. So uh, this was, hmm, again, one of those challenges that was kind of easy, but then really not. Uh, the kind of easy is uh, the part says, okay, just go line by line. It doesn't <laughs> matter. It's just a shape. It's not a thing. <laughs> and it works really well with architecture because you just, yeah. you know, it's it's a way you harder. You just put it upside down. Thing. Exactly. You, uh, it's way harder with faces or people. Yeah. And that was a hard part. I was just because I'm having a human and a Cthulhu in there. <laughs> and they gave me a little bit of grief mm -hmm. with the perspective. That, like, where's the chin on that? <laughs> <laughs> the thing why I find it uh, twice as funny is usually when we are playing at the table. So where's the one who says, "Oh, I don't mind reading stuff." Yeah, uh, upside, upside down. down. I'm, yeah, that's well, I'm totally, totally like what? <laughs> no, that's. That's fine. And so I was like, fine, just do that. <laughs> just do it the other way around. Yeah, again, with the, yeah. with the Brandenburger Tor, uh, yeah. uh, it was totally easy, but Cthulhu and Sherlock were a little bit more difficult to so, put down there. why the Brandenburger Tor? Uh, that's actually a site in, in Berlin, Berlin in yeah. Uh, that's quite famous here. If you've yes. never been here, you might still have seen it in some... I think it's the most famous famous thing for Germany other than the... Uh, Pensitur, uh, maybe? The cathedral in Cologne. Oh, yeah, the uh, These are the two most famous things. It's like the Statue of Liberty for the US is... Hmm. Bogator, yeah, kind of uh, for for Germany, but yeah. Well, we live in Germany, so I had to go with that uh, architecture. I looked at all the other cities that mm. were on the board, and for Spain there was Madrid. Would there have been ba Barcelona? Bas I would have taken that city because I would have uh, liked to draw or paint the um, cathedral the La Sagrada Familia. You could also have just added a new city. I didn't know I wanted to go with the real thing. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Dortmund is not really a thing that uh, should be on the board, maybe. Uh, I don't know. No, no, anyway, no. Um, I went with um, the the real Berlin Brandenburger Tor mm -hmm. um, and I, it, it's that of the I don't know the English word. Sorry, folks. You get a few German lessons. The Quadriga on top. I put Cthulhu on top. Mm -hmm. And um, there's Sherlock with a bit of dynamite there somewhere. He kind of wants to blow up. I think he's not with the great old ones. <laughs> it's just surprise. a surprise. <laughs> or um, I don't know. I don't know if he wants to blow up the the architecture structure gate kind of thing or if he wants to hurt Cthulhu <laughs> I don't know um, he hasn't told me but yeah he's he's there Mr. <laughs> Sherlock is there Mr. Sherlock yeah nice to meet him at Brandenburger Tor yes 
totally. <laughs> I've never read a story where he actually left Britain. I Me neither. Remember. Me neither. I, I think I've read all of them, but I'm not sure. I, I did too when I was a teenager. Um, yeah, but was, I don't remember any story where he was not it in was Britain. Was for me part of the first literature I read on my own free will to learn English. Ooh, yeah, okay. Now I I read it in German. I was like nine or ten years old, mm -hmm. so fairly early on. But um, yeah, I read all of the Sherlock's. And there's Cthulhu giving me grief. <laughs> <laughs> He's, yeah. <laughs> I had to cover th p parts of his body up with the wings. Because uh, they were just not coming out <laughs> right or well. So yeah, that's what let's wing does. it, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for giving you No, it's totally fine. Jones. No, it's totally fine. Uh, I had a lot of fun and you have to stretch the, your The best muscles. thing about my part uh, in, in those episodes is really I don't have to <laughs> take my own challenges. <laughs> I've been kind of the asshole there. But oh, I'm actually fine. enjoying that I don't have to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you can incorporate some of them in the other paintings that we do where you paint with me. Like, no, okay. Well, you don't have to, but you know, I enjoy a good challenge because it stretches your muscles and you have to think how to approach <laughs> things. And, um, well, they're always great to learn. I, I really like them. Sometimes you, well, gotta curse a bit sometimes you don't <laughs> so that's uh that's totally a nice thing actually have you ever been at the Brandenburger Tor? yes multiple ah, times i've never been there i don't miss it miss it so far so <laughs> it's crowded it's that for way. sure i usually see the um pictures at uh, New Year's when mm -hmm. they celebrate there, like, yeah. Yep, with the fireworks and mm -hmm, everything. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Let it dry, let it dry. <clears throat> Sorry, I forgot to cut there. <laughs> now, now, oh, it took me a while to get the blow dryer. I was never that slow. But uh, another thing mm -hmm. that I did there was, uh, or that I wanted to do, is have rather muted colors. Because yeah. uh, I went for the 1880s, uh, uh -huh. where this game plays. And I thought they don't really have a lot of pink and purple. So mm -hmm. uh, I went Sounds true. with almost... <laughs> Uh, only um, I had three co three colors. I think it was uh, a dark brown, the yellow ochre, and a green. Oh, and the red for the dynamite. So four colors in the whole thing. No black, maybe five five tones, five things. But rather um, muted colors because mm -hmm. well, the game plays in the nineteenth century. Yes, and I kind of went with. Uh, another thing, uh, that was something I deli deliberated, oh, do I want to do that? And I decided not to mm -hmm. and have uh, a cross here on the top of the painting when you once you turn it. I uh, have greetings <laughs> right from Berlin, the bottom. <laughs> like a postcard or something. Oh. Have that. But then I thought, okay, I could either cheat and turn it round and then write or I have to write uh, upside, upside down. down yes. And I said, uh, I can definitely do it, but Will it look okay? It's like, uh, well, maybe just have a postcard without a text there. Yeah, so. but the idea is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, I was unsure and uh, I, I thought, well, I'm <laughs> I, I guess that. I mean, it's, it's really hard to do. The another thing that you could have done is like write it right, right by down and just, um, you know, put it down next to you so you just have to copy yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I would have oh, done. Yeah. But I still thought... Because um, <laughs> the, the one thing that's quite difficult upside down is diagonals. Yes. So I have the right angle and if I want to have like... Um, a handwritten one instead of print letters, having the right curve Oh, to that's it. even more 
hard to do and I'm not sure I could have pulled that off True. so I opted not to do it but I thought oh, maybe make a postcard that Sherlock sending like this is me just before I either blew up the Brandenburger Gate or um, Cthulhu whatever choose if he is a loyalist or not <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and the other thing that I also opted not to do is, uh, well, the, the game is called Study in Emerald, mm -hmm. and just have Emerald, just a monochromatic painting, yeah. and I said, uh, nah. <laughs> I mean, monochromatic would have been another challenge, right? <laughs> well, we've, we've got a few videos to come, but please don't. <laughs> not now. <laughs> I've, I've got some other things for you. Thank you. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> be interesting. Let me work up to that challenge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to let you go through some less painful challenges first. Yeah, well, it's it's kind of easy when coloring, but when you have a game and you have a whole scenery there, yeah. I find monochromatic a bit more difficult to pull off. So, or it has to be the right game. To yeah, make I mean, it. I had that w quite early on with um, um, Forbidden Island. Yes, yeah, and it was quite fun. But yeah, yeah. you're right. The, the the theme has to be right for mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It has to work uh, really well with that. Exactly. Um, and still, I used uh, two colors actually. Yeah, two, two or tones. three. Two. Two. Uh, light turquoise and a dark turquoise. Mm. So, yeah. That's Good that you remember. <laughs> yeah, in this case I do. <laughs> I mean, probably the hardest part is here, um, when you paint the way you did, to make it look balanced. It's already hard when you learn painting or drawing, mm. um, and you actually flip the page and look through it, you usually see that um, it all turns in one way. Exactly. Depending on whether you're right-handed mm -hmm. or left-handed. That's the mm -hmm. thing that I that took me years to try and get rid of, uh, yes. because it was really annoying when I noticed that uh, everything seems to be falling to one side. Yeah. And it's pretty much the same. You don't have that much of a feeling when you um, paint upside down, whether it's balanced from the upside to the lower, yeah, exactly. lower part. So, but it's still this is way easier with architecture than it is with yes. any other thing. I'm still tilting slightly when I do any other things, especially round things. Yeah, that or that have a shadow there. Then the shadow goes like like a dali. It yeah. just whoosh, drops. Um, I uh, still do the tilting thing, but it's way easier with architecture where you just have straight lines, not many curved lines, just bam, bam, all the verticals yeah. first, then all the horizontals, ta-da, you're done. Um, but <laughs> any other line, like a curve or anything, it's like, <laughs> and there it goes. Yeah. Yeah. So far, I'm really, really enjoying the combination of uh, illustration style with the sepia tone. Thank you. It's, it turns out so amazingly good. Thank you. And it's just fitting in itself. And yeah, I. Oh, I'm like blushing that. hard. I like here. what you're thank doing you. here. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> awesome. And again, you were throning. While I, I was throning, throning, yes. throning. <laughs> yeah, that one actually. I think this was shorter than the last one. Yeah, fifty-four minutes mm -hmm. only. I so. mean, it, it's a bit. Um, how do I say? It? It's it's a reduced style. It's, exactly. It leaves a lot open, and that's exactly. what makes it um, very pleasant to the eye, for me at least, mm. because the sepia tone does uh, enough for um, spots to look at, and it's a bit. A lighter exactly and well that also saves you time because you don't have to take care of the sky or background or anything so that's yeah, shorter I mean, than in this illustration you kind of says always shorter than yes other kinds of paintings yes yeah, yeah. just for the result mm -hmm. uh, pays off thank you I think even if it would have taken more time the result is, is really well and it's worth it thank you now you have to uh, make up a uh, a text that Sherlock writes to his brother on the postcard on the back. Go! Haha, <laughs> I put her on the spot! <laughs> it would probably be a cooking recipe. <laughs> 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 
Don't ask why I'm hungry. <laughs> You're gonna get dinner in a bit. Don't worry. <laughs> I mean, it's your fault for telling me what what we will have today. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> of course, I answer when you ask. <laughs> <laughs> huh. mm. only 45 minutes to go and then I'm gonna put things into the oven so it's like forever <sighs> yeah <laughs> kind of kind of yeah I'm getting slightly hungry too but well we gotta wait for the hubby to be available for dinner too so yeah mm. that's Pretty much it. I'm just gonna turn it and put the reflection into Cthulhu's eyes and also sign the painting because that's what I'm gonna do right side up. And uh, that pretty much was. You put, could have put down the signature on the side. That would have been the thing. It's taped. Oh, why do you, <laughs> you do don't that? <laughs> Because I'm quite close and I wanted to make sure that I am in frame. You know that I sometimes am <laughs> <Yeah>. not. <laughs> I didn't want to fuck up there. So, yeah, that's uh, a study in the Emerald. Uh, next week we're gonna have a game that we both paint. So come back then and uh, take a look what we do there. We hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day. Give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, all the good things. Have a wonderful one. Bye. Bye.